Hello, my name is Maureen Garcello and I'm an instructional designer in instructional technology services. Today we're going to take a quick overview of the Blackboard Retention Center. Beginning to use the course reports is a great way to measure uh, your students' performance at a glance and to see how students are engaging with the course material. The Blackboard Retention Center takes tracking learning analytics to the next level. It provides real-time alerts based upon student engagement, course engagement, and performance metrics such as quizzes, uh, different homework assignments, and uh, when students are logging on to look at the course itself. This overview will provide you with a high-level description of the Retention Center, and you can always follow up with ITS for a consultation or more information. It's recommended that you set the Retention Center up at the beginning of your course, and this is once the assignments and activities have already been established and put into Blackboard. When you add more assessments, or what we call formative assessments, to your course, you will receive more frequent, real-time feedback um, uh, on your students' performance throughout the semester. This will help you identify struggling students earlier and helping all of us support student success. So let's begin. So how do you get to the Retention Center? What you will do is first log into your Blackboard course and you can see here we have a live course and you will go down to this evaluation button. We know that you use the control panel quite a bit and you build your course using the course tools, but we're gonna click on evaluation. First, you'll see course reports, and that's what I was talking about for the general overview of your student's performance. But then what you'll do is click here on the retention center button. So the retention center might take some time to load, especially if you have a larger class enrollment. You will notice that once you're in the retention center, you'll see this header up here that says students currently at risk. You'll then see this table right here or this indicator right here. There are 223 students who are currently at risk in this course. If you click on it, you'll see that it divides further into 34 students who have low grades, and I'll show you how to customize, further customize grades in order to see what a, a high and a low grade might constitute. You can customize that to your course specifically. 189 students did not contribute, and this is a proxy or an indicator of student engagement in the course. And it's also based on how you choose to customize that metric. And then 126 students did not log in. So you can see here that we've got um, three different kinds or measures of student success or alerts in this course. You can see also that it's got this little pop-up here that the data table has four columns. And so these four columns will indicate uh, which students are at risk, and then you can drill down to expand each item to show more details about that particular student. So the retention center is global, and then it's also quite granular. You'll notice that there are four standardized uh, default at-risk student measures. They will always appear for course activity, course access, grades, and missed deadlines you can customize them from there. So let's take a minute to learn a little bit more about a student who has an access alert. So I clicked on the dot that is associated with the student's name in the far left corner, and we've um, made those students' names anonymous for this, this lesson, but you have some options. So this is an access alert. This person has customized their course to um, to monitor when students log on and look at the Blackboard course. So the risk factor here is that the last access for the student was more than three days ago, or that's the threshold, and the last student's access was actually four days ago. You can choose to click on monitor to monitor that student, and you can see in the upper right-hand corner that you're now monitoring the student. Their activity is 11% below average for the rest of the course, but their grade happens to be 3.4% above uh, average. You can also choose to notify this student, notify an observer who might have an advisory role, or notify both individuals. And we'll take this student off the monitor option. All right, the final opportunity here to catch students before it's too late is to customize your Blackboard Retention Center. 
So you can see again the default activity rule for course activity is actually activity within one week being 20% below the course average. You can actually go over here to this small gray circle and edit the default rule to make your own rule. Perhaps you're looking for students who are 10% uh, below the average or in the lowest quartile. You can also look in the last week or the last month or even the last days to see what their activity would be. So that's a handy tool to customize it to your course in particular. You can also have some grade parameters. So if we edit the default grade rule, one of the, the great ways to catch your students before it's too late is to look after the first midterm grade to see if their average grade is below the average grade of the rest of the class in the bottom 25% or the bottom quartile. Once you've customized your course to the measures that you think would best support student success, you'll also notice that the Retention Center isn't just a remedial resource for you to interact with students. You can actually sort by students who are not at risk and send those students encouraging messages or continue to support their success in your course. Thank you so much for listening and please let us know if you have any other questions. Again, my name is Maureen Garcello and I'm an instructional designer in instructional technology services. We're here to help.